We begin with breaking news in the Derek Chauvin trial. Judge Peter Cahill handing down several key rulings within the last half hour. The judge denied a defense request to delay the trial, so that means the trial will begin on schedule a little later this month. The judge also denied a request to move the trial out of Hennepin County because of publicity over the settlement between the city and George Floyd's family in a civil lawsuit. The judge also considered a motion regarding a 2019 arrest of George Floyd, and he allowed some evidence from that arrest. Christian Cordero joins us live now with more details on the judge's decision. Christian. Well, Heather, we put a lot of anticipation into today's decisions because they had every reason to change the course of this case and of this trial. And they did ever so slightly, specifically when it comes to what the defense and prosecution will be arguing once the doors open for the trial itself next week or rather the week after. Um, but the thing that the Judge Cahill really kind of expanded upon the most was what was permissible for this 2019 video of George Floyd's arrest. 2019, right? This was a year before the 2020 arrest that, of course, led to this becoming such a big viral story. But what he really wants to try and thread here is the idea that, that the defense could use the 2019 video if it backs up the cause of death. And by that, I mean um, the uh, body worn camera video of the officers approaching Mr. Floyd, him ingesting pills, which is part of their argument and um, and and things of that nature. They are not allowed to make judgments on his character, which is one thing that prosecutors were very concerned about showing a repeated pattern of behavior. And that's important because prosecutors were then going to try and get an expert, a psychiatrist to weigh in on that behavior. And, and that is what the judge said, nope, we're not going to allow that. Now, so that's where things stand right now as far as the George Floyd video from 2019 goes. The other things that he weighed on were change of venue and continuance. In other words, delaying the case, delaying the trial because of this publicity, particularly of the $27 million civil settlement. The judge said that he put a lot of thought into it, but the facts came down to that it would be really hard to move this at any point in, uh, in time this year or next or at any other location. Here's what he had to say. Unfortunately, I think the pretrial publicity in this case will continue no matter how long we continue it. Uh, perhaps some of it may, with time, be forgotten by people. And as far as change of venue, I do not think that that would give the defendant any kind of a fair trial beyond what we are doing here today. So day 10 of jury selection comes in today to start, well, actually right now. But one thing that's noteworthy too that perhaps did add to the context of this decision was the fact that they have 12 jurors seated. So they have been able to find some people who, um, after intense scrutiny, were able to say that they can be impartial in this. There are two more to go and those um, would be added to the 14 total, two of which would be alternates. And we will have to wait and see which the, who the alternates are in this case, Heather and Jason, uh, as this uh, jury selection continues. Christian, we just got a statement from uh, the attorney general's office where they said that they are ready to go. They are ready for the trial to proceed on schedule. So certainly that was the case they made all along. And so it will. Absolutely. Christian yep. Cordero. So it will. May 20, or March 29th. March 29th. Yep. yep. Just a, a week, a week from Monday. Is that yep. right? Yeah. A week and a day. Yeah. Christian, mm -hmm. thank you.